Good morning, Plum here playing World of Tanks, patch 9.14. I have been so busy with work in the last 75 hours, <laughs> whatever 75 hours is, I think that's about right, that uh, I haven't been able to play any tanks whatsoever until last night I managed to get on Saturday evening and have a few rounds in tanks in 9.14 and uh, really enjoyed myself. It was a... Uh, a pleasant experience being in World of Tanks once again it was great the new sound effects I really enjoyed them I had to go on the test server a few weeks ago but I kind of forgotten what it was like and um, I've been invited to a platoon um, kind of forgotten what it was like and uh, so it's quite fresh actually coming into 914 and it's great isn't it I like the way the engines start they sound a bit like a World War One biplane starting but um, apart from that, I really, 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 really like all the effects. I'm a, I'm a happy tanker. We're going to hear some of these effects now. Ooh, that guy is absolutely cursing me. Because <laughs> I only had about 10% of his tank to shoot at. And now he's dead. <laughs> Poor old CDC. It is a bit of a... Uh, lump of butter the CDC it does not have <laughs> any armor to speak of what it has got is speed agility and a pretty good gun um, got these nice opaque bushes in front of me this should keep me hidden when I fire I'm not sure if I can even see hopefully our AMX 1390 is gonna tempt these guys out uh, maybe not I'm not that familiar with this map what is it called? Pilsen. I've played it about four times, it seems, in the last uh, couple of months since it's been out. T-54s. I think that bounced. <laughs> I have been detected. Okay, I'm going to change flanks here. I'm going to go over to the left-hand side myself or over correctly to the east and uh, try and work with his M46KR, get a look at his cheeky paintwork. I don't think I've really had a look at one of these in game. They're nice looking tanks. I do like the paintwork. It'd be nice if more tanks had that kind of uh, look about it, wouldn't it? Right, they know he's nearly dead so they are going to be coming for him. I shoot what can I shoot that's almost a certainty I shall shoot the T-54 in the hatch and uh, what just shot me at? <sighs> artillery I tell you what artillery has been gunning for me lately oh my god I've been killed so many times by artillery to the point of it's a joke uh, artillery is going to be reloaded in about probably 10 seconds do not need to get hit again. So I'm going to relocate. It's the smart thing to do. Scores are just about level. We are one tank down. I can make Arty change his um, angle. I wish that T-37 would give me a shot. Uh... Dang it! Now our Artie's in danger. Come on, reload. I think he's coming for him. Is he? I'm watching him on the minimap to see which way he's going to go. Okay, I'm going to go for this T61 shot. He's out of the game. Did they get the T37? Yes, they did. Good work, team. God, this flank has been good fun, actually. I've enjoyed fighting over here in the last couple of minutes. I've not been over this side of the map before, it's the first time I've seen all these dead trees. Get some good charcoal from those stumps. Always looking for good charcoal. I actually used some charcoal yesterday in our garden. Had a bonfire ages ago. And uh, <laughs> there are some good bits of charcoal in the bottom of the uh, bin that we use for fires. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you very much! Uh, try the prawn cocktail. It'll be here today and tomorrow night. Don't try it tomorrow night, you'll get sick. Prawn cocktails. <laughs> anyway, love those sound effects. It's um, crisper, isn't it? 
whole sound effects experience just feels crisper. Hello. <laughs> Three kills. Mopping up now. If I could get get in there and get the 1375. I don't think he's a one. Oh, he is a one shot for the T54. I was gonna say I don't think he is, but he was. That's a shame. There might be a line of sight. I might be just snap this shot if he goes straight now. Just go straight T54. Ah, oh, he didn't. This is an intriguing map when you think about it. It is the most different map from all the others, I think, because of these uh, under cover structures and so forth. It just feels quite, quite different. I like it. I think it's a good map. I've only played it a couple of times, and I think this might be the first time I've ever had a victory on it, personally. But I do appreciate their efforts to mix things up a bit on this map. Having these huge walls along here, I mean, what other map has got that? I know city maps have got huge uprights, but these are just literally a wall. It's more like a maze, this map. Come on, saint a mill stirrer a mill Let old plumber have the shot. Let me get four. I'd appreciate four. I think he's probably done a runner this way, hasn't he? He's not going to be over in that corner still. Take our chances. We'll go through this building. Not been in this building before either. There's some nice touches. There's that lovely desk. There's these lovely desks. There's stuff on board. Filing cabinets and it's good. I'm on point now. I am on point. I've got my repair kit. If he tracks me, fingers crossed. As in chat, it says, "Let's find him." Yes, let's. Do you think he's going to try and cap? <laughs> Oh, I hope the Lorraine 115551 doesn't get him. I've got an itchy trigger finger here. I want to uh, ease its pain by just releasing it one more time. Listening to the reload take place. Do you think he's in this corner? There he is. Boom! We get the kill and we get an ammo rack as well. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Oh, that was a good game in the uh, Yag Tiger. I need to uh, get that this weekend because it's a times three and we're on our way to the uh, E100. So, yeah, second class demolition expert. A few pins. How did we do on the team on that one? I'm going to stick my neck out and I'll say I came third, I think. He's good at this, this old plum fellow. He's pretty good at calling out where he's come on a team. We did uh, third on damage. The joint top on kills, I wouldn't really uh, go into that very much, but um, yeah, third, happy with that. Cool, and a nice little tidy game in the Yag Tiger in 9.14. The sound effects are terrific, I think. I don't really have a negative to point out regards the new sound effects. I raced around in my light tanks last night um, on a couple of games, and I wasn't deliberately, you know, I was in the zone, I was just playing tanks, and I wasn't deliberately seeing if they had any more you know abilities than they had previously I, it, it didn't happen um, I guess a couple of times I noticed I was sliding a bit more but I certainly didn't do, try and do a handbrake turn in the thing as you'd call it um, but it felt good I'm, I'm really looking forward to sort of mastering that maneuver where you go herring towards an enemy tank <laughs> go down one side of it smack on the handbrake lock one track spin the tank around and put shells in their backside that that is that's gonna be a highlight now I think for most replays and light tanks if you're able to pull off that maneuver it's going to need a name I expect someone's going to come up with a cunning name for it apart from a handbrake turn um, the something maneuver the plum maneuver <laughs> let's get that going I'll have to do several of them first in a game but um, yeah that's cool stuff anyway I've been mulling over the uh, thousand subscribers competition which everyone apparently you have to do one <laughs> it's an unwritten rule thousand subs you've got to do a competition um, so it will be a tanks since that's what the majority of my channel is is tanks it will be a tanks replay competition um, with a cunning twist wrap your head around this it's gonna be and this is the uh, basically the only rule I've got to refine the uh, rules for this competition but basically you have to play the whole match looking down the gun sight looking down the barrel you cannot be in third person if you come into third person it's not eligible because the replay file will show me if you go into third person, luckily. Um, so you've got to spend the whole game in down the barrel. So it's probably going to be two categories. You're probably going to have um, tank destroyers, 
I'm excluding artillery from this uh, competition. Um, tank destroyers is one category. Obviously, they just sit still. It's a bit easier. Um, and then everything else. Medium tanks, heavy tanks, and light tanks might be another category. So there'll be two prizes up for grabs. And the prizes? Oh, the prizes. The, what, the prize? <laughs> I'll go into that later. I've got to, I've got to make it first. So there's a clue. <laughs> or make them first. Um, so they're a bit unique. And you might want to get your hands on one of those. It's not going to be a massive competition, is it? It's my channel. It's going to be very, very small. So I'll probably only get about five entries. So once you see the prize, you might think, yeah, I'd like that. I'll send it to you. you yeah, you might. You're intrigued, aren't you? You're intrigued. Anyway, have a good Sunday. Um, I've just done my worship at the altar of World of Tanks. Had a good game. Thanks very much, World of Tanks. Love you to bits. And uh, have a good Sunday. And I'll play some more tanks next week. Kaida Pao.